And we need to make clear that those members of the Flat Earth Society are on the wrong side of history. You're a government prototype. That's why you make it a point to tell me that I'm crazy every time you're angry because you know I'm right. Wobble. Yeah, you see that wobble? It's detecting that wobble is how we find these other stars that have planets around them. And insert that golf tee into the ball. Now this represents a star with a planet. And but there's a bit trickier. Other planets, the stars are so bright that we can't even see them. At least not with the telescopes we have today. If the planets are so tiny, they don't shine with their own light, they're just reflecting a little bit of the starlight and they get lost in the brightness of that star. They lead our being defeated. They keep us deceived about everything that we think. wrong. This sun is kind of naked looking. That's a star with a planet. They're, they're working on it. But there's something wrong. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. Oh, very nice. And so far, the only planets that we found have been big guys like this. And so far, the only planets that we found... Not quite all of them, but a bunch of them. So to find these other planets is a bit trickier. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. Not quite all of them, but a bunch of them. So to find these other planets is a bit trickier. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. It's kind of naked looking. Oh, very nice. I've been big guys like this. If you have a nice big planet, you get a big wobble happening. Other planets, the stars are so bright that we can't even see them. At least not with the telescopes we have today. If the planets are so tiny, they don't shine with their own light. They're just reflecting a little bit of the starlight and they get lost in the brightness of that star. I mean, the planets around our sun, you can look up in the night sky and see a bunch of them. But there's something wrong. I've been big guys like this. It's kind of naked looking. The nation is awful because you're a top to flow model. Ever yeah, since y'all could we fall. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. If you have a nice big planet, you get a big wobble happening. It's a bit tricky. I've been big guys like this. It's kind of naked looking. Oh, very nice. Rapists and murderers, liars, thieves, and sun worshippers saying we can't see curvature because we're all too small. And no no. You don't think so? I've been big guys like this. We they're, they're working on it. I've been wrong. This sun is kind of naked looking. No. You don't think so? Okay. It's almost like an eclipse. You're right. Oh my when God. When it's a small thing like this, we call it a transit. An eclipse is when the entire star would be covered up by the planet. You don't think so? If you have a nice big planet, you get a big wobble happening. Other planets, the stars are so bright that we can't even see them. At least not with the telescopes we have today. If the planets are so tiny, they don't shine with their own light. They're just reflecting a little bit of the starlight and they get lost in the brightness of that star. It's kind of naked looking. I've been big guys like this. Oh, very nice. But there's something wrong. If you have a nice big planet, you get a big wobble happening. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. But that's in the future. So far we don't have, we don't have anything like that, but they're, they're working on it. But there's something wrong. They're, they're working on it. Oh, very nice. You don't think so? But there's something wrong. <laughs> Other planets, the stars are so bright that we can't even see them. At least not with the telescopes we have today. If the planets are so tiny, they don't shine with their own light. They're just reflecting a little bit of the starlight and they get lost in the brightness of that star. So far we don't have, we don't have anything like that. Oh, 
Very nice. Golf tee represents as a star with a planet. Gravity tee represents a star with a planet. I've been wrong. This sun. <coughs> the stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. An eclipse is when the entire star would be covered up by the planet. It's kind of naked looking. They're, they're working on it. The is to take a little tiny chunk of the clay and put it on the end of the toothpick. That represents the Earth size planet. This sun is kind of naked looking. But that's in the future. And it put that into one of the other balls. It's kind of naked looking. The third, the third ball is to start without a planet. Welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about how we find planets around other stars. It's kind of naked looking. For the longest time, all we knew about was nine planets around our own sun. But now, we have discovered more than a hundred huh? other planets. But they're not around our sun. But there's something wrong. Oh my god. <laughs> they're not planets in our solar system, they're planets around other stars. So what we're going to do today is talk about just how it's kind of naked looking. We find these things, but there's something wrong. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. I mean, the planets around our sun, you can look up in the night sky and see a bunch of them. It's kind of naked looking. Not quite all of them, but a bunch of them. So to find these other planets is a bit trickier. The stars are all so far away that we've never seen one of these planets. All we see is their effect on the star that they're going around. This is a model of our sun. See if you can spin that. But there's something wrong. <coughs> oh, very nice. The sun spins just like that just rotating like the Earth does. But there's something wrong. This sun is kind of naked looking. But there's something wrong. This sun is kind of naked looking. But there's something wrong. Is our sun up there all by itself in space? No. No, what does it have? Planets around it. Planets. So with these two stars, I have some different kinds of planets. Let's see how this planet affects the spinning of the star. This is going to be a little bit trickier. Let's see if we can get that one spinning. Woohoo! Give it another try. All right. Very nice. Now, when you watch that moving, was it a nice, simple spin like this? No? How else was it moving? What would you call it? Up and down. Up and down and just all It was wobbling all over the place, wasn't it? It was. That wobble is what we look for when we look for planets because the, an eclipse is when the entire star would be covered up by the planet, but that planet's doing things to the star. It's making it wobble. But that wobble is so tiny that if we want to try to find smaller planets, take a look at this one. There you go. How's that fit? Was it like this one or this one? It was more like that one than this one. Yeah. If it's just, what's the difference between these two? This one's That's right. If you have just a tiny little planet, you don't get much of a wobble at all. If you have a nice, big planet, you get a big wobble happening. And so far, the only planets that we found have been big guys like this. It's kind of naked looking. We haven't found any little ones like Earth using this wobble method. But if we can get our telescopes up in space and we can get sharper images of these things to see them moving, then we hope that we can eventually start to find some these because it's a finer motion, it's a tiny little wobble, and the atmosphere tends to blur things out. So if we can get above the air, we can see the tiny little wobble so really like this. Now there's two other things that we can do. I'm going to talk to the adults who are up a little bit higher now. And I want you to watch this planet go around the star. Imagine this was glowing, okay, giving off its own light. This is not. This is only reflecting the light of the star. As it moves around, your eyes are about the same height as mine now. Wait, what do you see when it goes, when this happens? <coughs> it's almost like an eclipse. You're right. When it's a small thing like this, we call it a transit. An eclipse is when the entire star would be covered up by the planet. When it's just making a little black dot across, it's called a transit. So if we're measuring the brightness of a star, we'll see a little dip. It'll seem to get dimmer and then come back up. Do you think we'll ever be able to see the planet directly? Yeah. Yeah, so. well, we have it so far. But 
NASA's got a plan. They have um, a mission that they're designing now called the Terrestrial Planet Finder that will actually block out the light of the star so you can see this dim, tiny little planet off to the side. And then we'll be able to confirm that there's other little planets out there and be able to see them directly and make measurements of the light reflecting off them to find out lots more about what, just what kind of planet that is. But that's in the future. So far, we don't have, we don't have anything like that, but they're, they're working on it, as they would like to be able to see the planets directly. Thank you. Here's two stars. What's the difference between these two stars? One has a planet and one doesn't. One has a planet and one doesn't, you bet. If we take this star and spin it, you see the pattern that it makes? Now, how about this one? Wobble. Yeah, you see that wobble? It's detecting that wobble is how we find these other stars that have planets around them. <laughs> I'm into philosophy, past lives, PhD, stupid people. It has customized star maps for them. For example, if they're looking west, up against the sky, they want to hold their map up with west down toward the horizon. All these constellations in that area, they'll see in the sky right in front of them. The map is straight up. The map is straight up. Oh, very nice. Not some cockamamie ideological hypothetical, but science. And we need to make clear that those members of the Flat Earth Society are on the wrong side of history. We are going to make Paris the demarcation point where we begin to get the job done to save the planet. Period. I'm a one-man show.